glass half empty after that? How do you sort of balance? Well, I don't think it's that simple, really. Glass half full, glass half empty. I thought um, we come here to employ our system and our effort against Collingwood's, and, and they've been up and about for a period of time. So um, I was really pleased, in particular, the first half. Um, last period of the last quarter. I thought we fought on right to the end. Right? I think that's indisputable. Um, but we lost our way. They pinned us in the latter of the second and then um, the third quarter. So um, we tried a few things. And in the end, you know, we sort of kept going and opened it up. So I thought, our, you know, we, we knew more, you know, and Maynard and those guys were, were pretty good. You know, against probably the first time our young key forwards you know, it was a big challenge. So, um, but that's not unexpected. So, yeah, I just thought we lost our way, you know, uh, late in the second. Like, we, we had eight entries to one in the second and we were one point and then they got rolling a bit. So, even early in the last, it was... I, I thought our fundamental... Their, their pressure was really good, a lot of smothered kicks, but I thought, well, not as clean as we've been in the clinches and that's perceived pressure or actual pressure. Uh, and drop marks, to be honest, and smothered kicks. So that was their pressure, but a little bit of composure. But we'll take a lot, a lot out of it and learn. Yeah, certainly super positive still. What can you learn about that fact that you've lost back in your back half about trying to... Yeah, well, that happens. Sometimes you've got to take your medicine. Like, well, they've been a pretty good team, right? So, um, yeah, it happened. Um, but at three-quarter time, we're like, let's win this game. It was six points. For all of that, I thought we defended really well. In some ways, took change that to play a little bit differently. Um, you know, we debated Dacos, you know, so... But we wanted to see our system stacked up, right? So, in review, as coaches, we'll probably wear he had 41. I mean, but, gee whiz, it was six points three-quarter time. So... Um, in saying that, they did kick a fair few points in the third, didn't they? So, yeah, could we have done that better? Probably. A lot to learn, a um, lot, lot of improvement in us um, against what was a Collingwood team stung. Um, it was pretty fierce, it was pretty hot. And I, th I thought they just handled the heat ultimately better than us. Do you think the system stacked up? I mean, Craig McRae was just in here saying, you know, St Kilda's going to be a very hard team to play against this year. Yeah, well, he's a pretty good judge. Like he, he understands it. We understand their system. Oh, they take some of your game off you as well. We thought we took some off them. Um, you know, we, we think we've got plenty of upside in us, to be truthful. We'll get our skipper back next week. He's our heartbeat. Um, he'll go head-to-head -head with Cripps, I would imagine. So he's pretty handy, so that's good. Memory played. I don't know what he did. You know, our, our big key forwards... Caminiti and Owens and those guys and Cordy, they'll need some support, you know. So um, I thought our leaders really stood up. I thought Sinclair, Wilkie, Ross, you know, I thought Howe was very good. Um, so there was a lot to like, but are we disappointed, yeah. But, and in the end, to be honest, like, we take that pluck, that last kick in, you, you win the game, right? So <laughs> I didn't think we gave up. On that, I think it's showing on the broadcast, you know, you kind of laughing a little bit. I mean, what was kind of going on in the coach's box with that last kind of... Yeah, well, I'm just happy, Ross, as well, right? So, I just, like, our forwards had been... But they will launch it, we thought, you know, we went to the end, it was like, I think, Owen, it was like Owens or Caminiti launched. Like, we, we would have stolen it, right? But that, that's what you do sometimes in this business. And then Collingwood had a habit of doing it. We went to a mode where we are rolling the dice and took it on and, um, you know, we, we started to score, right? So... Um, all credit to our players, they never gave up. You know, there was a chase of Nazai Wanganin laid on a forward that got out. I forget who it was, and he just got a fingernail in. So we never gave up. There was a moment when um, Ben Patton uh, ignored Jack Ginnivan um, when he'd been on the ground. He was asking to be helped back up, and Ben, I think, just stood there. Um, is that hard edge exactly uh, what you want to see? Oh, I don't know what it's talking about. Would you have helped him up? or? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know. There's a, there's a time for sportsmanship, you know. I, I love what Dimmer said. It's okay to push and shove, but there's a time to put your head over the ball, right? So I think we've all evolved a bit, haven't we? You know, like... But a lot gets said out there. You know what I mean? A lot gets said and done. Who knows? You said... Um... 
expand on that a little bit, Ross? Just no, just as simple as that. Like, do, do you lock him down? And there's a few things we could have done. You know, and maybe we should have, right? So that's a coaching group. We can wear that. But I'm not sure that was the whole reason, you know. So, um, you know, they lost McStay early, you know, which mismatched Howard in a sense, but I thought he was fantastic, you know. So, look, they're a dangerous unit. They're a seasoned unit. You know, I thought, um, you know, um, but I thought we fought on, you know. Oh, look, I've got to go away and assess it. I don't want to say too much, but I just said that the players... The heat they bought was strong and we just needed to be... I ran into our prayers. He said, we just weren't as clean as we've been. I think that's fair. We had 19 smothered kicks. We had some fumbles and drop marks. When we had control of the ball, when it was a set play and we just had a kick smothered. So all credit to their diligence, but I thought we invited a bit of that. when we Just when we thought we got opportunities, um, we didn't take it. Well, he hasn't been amazing, wow. but for based from where he's come from, he's been able to contribute. Yeah. yeah you got a young forward line that seems that overlap more, and Maynard and those guys were yeah. able to have. Like that aggression, just cut off through. Yeah, the and they they play an aggressive role around defence and create plus ones. You have got to try and equalise, and but like Moore's a freak athlete and a great player. So what a great lesson for him. You know what I mean? I, I think you're right. We had that observation as well. But gee, I thought we still. Even at the start of the last time, up, drop mark, goal. All we had to do was pick up and handball, and we fumbled. So it's a missed goal. I thought that just summed the game up. Did you see the incident with Caminini and Murphy in the fourth quarter? I think it's Collingwood said that Murphy's got concussion from. Really? So, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's not good. Yeah, so you haven't, I guess, given everything that we've seen from the league this year, you know, in terms of the tribunal. Yeah, so you haven't seen anything. No, no, so no, no. Sort of no. Well, there's cameras everywhere. Yeah. If there's an incident, and I haven't seen anything, um, I didn't see Dacos get 41, right? So <laughs> now I'm going to see that. So um, don't get too upset with us, Saints fans. We'll, we'll remedy that next time. But um, yeah, no. Nah. And if there was, I'm, I'm sure that the processes will kick in. And I think both teams are just held accountable for every action they did out there. That's what I would say Last happens. Um, what do you make of the pre match, I guess, commemoration of Mickey Wigmar's? They're 30 years on from that. Yeah, gee whiz. I, I spoke to Nicky. He was such a special player. That's how I remember him. And um, But the emotional toll, he made a stand. Um, I think we've made ground. But you know what? We're, we've got to remain vigilant. And, and there's the keyboard warriors, there's the cowards. And who knows where it all comes from? I think we've made ground, but there's plenty of ground to make. And we just got to... There's no place for it in our game. I think we stand as one. Um, First Nation, ethnic, we're, we're all immigrants unless you're First Nation. So um, it, it's um, it's something we're all the power of one, right? We all just stand up. If you walk past it and you accept it, well, it grows. You just got to keep, you know, if there's a witch, burn the witch, right? So the other witches know. Was it a special moment to be a part of? Players. Yeah, look, I, I spoke to Nicky, you know, and, he, and, you know, there's empathy, but it's very hard to put yourself in his shoes and understand. I, I think unless you walked in those shoes. But Michael Wilders is a favourite of mine to see Sun Sun and, and Wilson vilified. I, I just think, I'm not sure where it's coming from. I don't understand it. But anything we can do to eradicate, I think everyone in this room, we're all on board. So I don't think the fight's ever going to end but we can keep getting better. Thanks, guys.